Hey there, happy Monday to you. This is Teresa. And in today's Anchored in Abundance session, I'm going at things a little differently. Uh, probably a little differently than how you've been going at things, especially if you're like so many of the people I work with. Uh, this pandemic, stay at home orders, quarantines, all of that has created true upheaval in the world, in your personal world. I pray it hasn't created like personal pain and loss for you. And yet I know that it might. Our schedules, our routines, um, our jobs, like it's all blown up. All the things that we normally do, most of which we cannot do right now. And we've been trying to adjust. I've been trying to adjust. I'm willing you've been trying to adjust that there's been this discombobulation. And if you're like me, even if this pandemic is not directly impacting you, it is impacting you. It's there. It's there. We know it's there. And, and in the thing that's there that we know is coming and spreading, there's, there's fear, there's dread, there's anxiety. There's anger. There's all of that. And what I noticed in myself this weekend is I was tired. I was tired. Here I am, you know, not doing so many of the things that I normally do. And here I am tired. Now I knew a part of that. And I, and I share this with you, was that, you know, emotionally, I was tired. Physically, I was tired too. And much like I shared in, an, in a video last week, my mom's question, the question I hated for so long, started bubbling up. What is God wanting to te tell you right now, Teresa? And I got again, as always, yes, that was an eye roll there. The message was to slow down. To which the little voice in my head said, but I am slowing down. Except for I wasn't. I wasn't. I was just trying to fill my days with new things to do. I got my list. Oh, I can now clean the house and I can do this and I can work on this and I can do this. And this is how I'm going to do this. And this is how I'm going to do this in this new reality. Notice the word that I'm saying a lot. Do, 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 do. And in my brain, I was really still, what do I need to do? What do I need to do? What do I need to do? What I got, my friends, is that what I need to do, and I would dare to say you need to do, is stop all the doing. Stop all the doing. Instead of transferring your busy, always going, 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 doing of the old life, into a new form of it in this new life, even like, okay, I'm gonna watch Netflix and I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do all these things to care for myself. Those are all great. And at a certain level, it's just swapping one busy form of doing and always thinking, 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 going, 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 never stopping, never resting, not really resting with another. And then I was reminded of what these Facebook Live videos, when I was first prompted to give them, were meant to support you and me to do. And in the, the doing to respond, I lost sight of that. These videos are designed to support you and me to remain anchored in abundance, in a time when it's so easy to get sucked into scarcity and fear. Now, I don't mean the abundance that we typically think of in culture. It's not about money. It's not about having a lot. It's about knowing that even in this pandemic, 
We are part of something bigger than us, something more powerful, something more eternal, something more loving, something more generous, something more creative, something more resourceful, something more intelligent and wise. I call that God. You may call it spirit, universe, the source of love, the creator of all, doesn't matter. But we're part of something bigger. And even in this pandemic storm, that something bigger is here with us, around us, and in us, and is speaking to us, and guiding us, and wanting to show us something, the path to create something new. The path to come through this, the path to have the pain and the sorrow and the grief and the loss that so many of us fear during this time to be transformed into love and even peace and joy going forward. And there's only one way we can really do that. And that's to stop doing. So going forward, now that I've done that preface, the bulk of these videos each day will simply be for you and I together, either live or on replay, to be present to each other, being still or at least practicing being still. I have a, a, a practice called centering prayer that I do most every day. And uh, in, the, in the, the, the training for that, it is a process of just being still, not trying to focus your mind, not using mantra, just opening ourselves to the divine, to God's presence, and action within us, letting it be done to us. Hey, Jenna, glad you're here. Um, versus um, thinking we have to do it all. And as you do that, as you practice that, you'll become aware like me of how even if you stop the outward doing and are sitting still, there's so much inward doing. And all we can do is when we catch that is just let it go, let it go. And, 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 and just quietly say the word open, just say the word open to yourself as a reminder of what this practice is. Open or anchored and just be mindful of your breath. Be mindful of your breath. Let us, our, my friends, go into the doing nothing. Being willing to connect and feel whatever may show up in that vacuum so that what the divine wants to do for and through us can flow. And so we're gonna spend about five minutes right now. The first minute, I'll just help you as I do with all my clients, I'll help you just kind of drop in to that place of stillness as best you can. If your mind starts racing, just take another breath and maybe use that word open or anchor just to let it go, let it go and come right back to your breath, to your your, your opening to God's presence and action within you. And then as we end the five minutes, I'll bring you up with a closing ritual as well. So together, my friend, let us anchor ourselves in the truth that we are part of something so much bigger than we can see right now, more loving, more generous, more creative, more resourceful, who is acting in us and through us, who will guide us if we only create the space. And who, my friends, is the one who can heal us 
individually and collectively. And so if you haven't already begun doing so, I invite you perhaps to close your eyes, sit back, put your feet on the floor, uncross your legs, uncross your arms so that you're embodying an open stance and simply begin to take very long, slow, conscious, deep breaths in through your nose, all the way in. And exhaling all the way out. With every breath in, let that life force energy fill your body. And as you exhale that life force energy out into the world, just allow your body to relax and open just a bit more. As you take the next breath in, in case your mind is, is racing, still bring that, that breath all the way up to your head. And as you exhale, imagine just your all that emptying out of your mind, out, 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 so that you can be more fully present, breathing in that life force, that love force energy. And again, let all that's in your head just empty out with your exhale. And on your next breath, start to bring your breath to that heart space. And if feelings bubble up, because when we start to open our hearts and connect with our hearts, they do. It may be fear, it may be pain, it may be vulnerability, it may be joy, it may be so many things. Just let them be there and allow that, that breath, that spirit of the divine to fill them, surround them, hug them. No need to explain, just let them be. Let yourself be just present, doing nothing other than consenting to the presence and action of God within you, of the source of all love and life present and acting within you. Imagine that with every breath, you are breathing in total, complete love and healing energy and grace and let it fill every part of your body. And as you exhale, imagine you're sending that same energy out into our world. Being supported and supporting, not by what we do, but by what we let flow through us.
I invite you to to listen to your own guidance, to spirit, to God, to your soul, to your intuition. To this something bigger that we're part of and that is here with us right now. Is there some message? Is there some image? Is there some prompting or guidance that you're receiving right now? There may be, there may not be, and one of the ways we break out of the doing is we listen before acting. And now, because we can do something, we can do many things to support the, the resolution of what we're facing right now and creating something new from it. But we can do it so much better when we're connected, anchored in abundance and responding from this place. I invite you to now take a three more breaths and on each inhale I want you to say yes I invite you to say yes that's you responding open-hearted open mind to how God spirit universe wants to work for you support you give you what you need to to live and to love to be filled with life and love and healing and then as you exhale and you then have that same energy flow through you out into the world to the people who need it, say thank you, say thank you, because you were able to be an instrument just in this very practice of just receiving love, peace, guidance, and letting it flow through you. Always we must receive first, letting it flow through you, say thank you that you were able to be that instrument sending love and life force energy out into the world. So we'll do that three times together. We may never know how our taking this moment can change the energy and support someone. But know that when we support ourselves, let ourselves be filled, then that impacts everyone we touch, everyone we connect with, every action we take. Because we, my friends, are more anchored in abundance. Thank you for being here. I would love your input. Uh, Jenna, Kathy, those of you here live, those of you on the replay, did this message about doing resonate and did actually just taking time together to do nothing and just open ourselves how did that support you if it supported you? Because I'll be back tomorrow doing much of the same, same time, same place. Blessings on your day. Be safe, be well.